All right, in this video, I'm going to talk about what is a fraction. Like, what does it mean? And let's start off with a fraction. Let's start off with 5 eighths. Now, got a bunch of vocabulary words. 5 is called the numerator. 8 is called the denominator. And what does that mean? Denominator. There you go. Now, here's what a fraction means. Now, a fraction is a number that lives on a number line. So here's a number line. <clears throat> and let's call this 0. Let's call this 1. And way over here, let's call this 2. All right, so now this fraction lives somewhere on this number line. Okay, and here's how you find out where this number line number lives on the number line. And in doing that, once you learn where it lives, on the number line, you're going to learn a little bit about what this fraction means, what it means. So this 8 means each whole number from 0 to 1, and from 1 to 2, and from 2 to 3, and 3 to 4, each whole number is cut into 8 equal sized pieces. So we need to cut this into 8 equal sized pieces. And so I'm going to cut it in half, and then I'm going to cut each one of those in half. So now we have 4 equal sized pieces. Now I'm going to cut each one of those in half. And now I have eight equal sized pieces. Now a lot of students count this as nine because they count the lines. They count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's dead wrong because you're counting the lines. And this denominator, eight, means you've cut it into eight segments. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, and that's what that means. Um, this 5, oh, now by the way, it means over here has been cut into 8 equal sized pieces. There you go. It means every whole number is cut into 8 equal sized pieces. Now this 5 means you need to move over 5 of those intervals. So like here is 0 eighths, here is 1 eighth, and then another interval is 2, 8. So eventually, 5 eighths, we're going to go over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ah, right there. Right here is 5 eighths. All right, so that's what a fraction means. Now, suppose we had the fraction 11 eighths. So what does that mean? Well, it's a fraction. It lives somewhere on this number line. 8 means each whole number has been cut into eight equal size pieces, so that's what the eight means. Now this 11 means we need to move over 11 pieces, 11 intervals. So we can start here at zero, and that's one, two, three, four, five. Well, there's our five. Six, seven, eight. So another way to call one is to call this eight eighths. And then that's 8, so we got to go one more, that's 9, one more is 10, and finally one more is 11. So right here is 11 eighths. And another way to call 11 eighths is you could say that's one whole plus 3 eighths more. So 11 eighths can also be written as one whole and 3 eighths. All right, let's do one last example. Uh, here's a number line, and let's call this 0, 1, 2, and let's talk about the fraction 9 fourths. So where does the fraction 9 fourths live on this number line? Well, what does the 4 mean? It means each whole number is cut into 4 equal size pieces. Cut it in half. And cut each one of those in half, and we now have four equal size pieces. And we're going to do the same thing over here. Cut it in half. Cut each of those in half. We now have four equal size pieces over here. And we can keep going if we wanted to. Now, what does this nine mean? The nine means we need to move over nine spaces. So we're going to start at the zero. And we're going to move over one, two, three, four. So there's our four fourths, five, six, seven, eight. So there's our eight fourths. 
And then finally, we need to go over one more little interval over. So I've run out of number line, so I'm going to kind of extend it a little bit. Go one more. And there's our 9 fourths right here. And if you wanted to change, this is called an improper fraction because the numerator is larger than the denominator. If we want to figure out what the mixed number is, we would say, oh, that's equal to two holes plus one extra quarter because here's two holes. Eight-fourths is equal to two holes. Plus we went one more extra little unit, so that's two and one-fourth. If we wanted to figure out where the fraction three-fourths was, well, that's pretty darn easy. That's just right here. Here's zero, one, two, three, right here is three-fourths. 